City Hall's $1.8 billion budget has come in for severe criticism from the Ministry of Local Government. Minister within the Local Government Ministry, Norman Whitaker, noted that it had to be an estimate since only $2.0 billion is projected to be collected. The Minister says he's still trying to figure the logistics of City Hall's budget. But I can say, I can offer a few comments based on discussions I have had with the town clerk and based on my perusal of this. Um, we have noted some division among the councillors with respect to this budget. One of the councillors is reported to have offer the opinion that the budget represents the needs of the department. I quote, represent the needs of the department. Um, it is our view that a budget must represent the needs of the people we serve. And once the budget represents the needs of the people we serve, it would necessarily represent the needs of the department. The depart Whitaker has made it clear that the government will not continue to bail out the cash-strapped entity. In this regard, he's urging the council to prioritize its debt collection. But I note with interest a statement attributed to the head of the finance committee that they are going to go after delinquent with payers because that is what you have to do. You cannot depend, continue to depend on government to provide bailouts. That is not the way we are going to go. Aggressive debt collection. That is what we want to see. We want the minister has also expressed his concern about the council's operational costs. He noted that the council should get its act together and fulfill its mandate to the citizens of Georgetown. But a quick check here shows that employment costs and employment overheads continue to be very, very high. And that the percentage of the budget that is going to be used to provide services, because if you look on the solid waste, for example, and the engineer's department, um, these are the areas that you have to look at to determine um, what amount the market, the city engineer, the solid waste department, that continues to be relatively low. So we're going to be examining this budget over the next two days.